to begin this product rendering in Brazil for Rhino, I'll first select the portions of the model that will be assigned the same material. And I'm going to group these together into individual selections so it's easier to apply materials. There will be a plastic material, a rubber material, a metal pin, and a magnet. For the plastic material, I'll start with a Brazil advanced material. And in the diffuse color swatch, I'll select a color for the plastic portions. Now I want this plastic color to be reflective, and I could do that in the reflectivity color swatch, but I can also go down to the texture summary, and in the reflectivity channel, I can assign a Fresnel blend material. And this Fresnel blend material has an IOR field in it, and that stands for index of reflection. And you can right click over this field and choose objects that have an IOR already assigned to them. Uh, plastic happens to be 1.46, but I want it to be glossier. So I'm going to enter 2.5 and then assign this material to the plastic parts. For the rubber material, I'll also start with a Brazil advanced material. And I'll make the color a dark gray, almost black. And then I'll go down to the basic surface parameters. You can right click in one of the panel headings and choose uh, any of the other panel headings and the dialog will focus on that panel. And in the basic surface parameters, there's a bump channel and I'll add the FBM texture to this channel. This FBM texture or a fractal based texture has a local mapping section, and here I'm going to check the WCS box, which stands for World Coordinate System. This is going to keep the texture from tiling incorrectly over any surface edges, but more importantly, it's going to make the texture look much smaller, and so it'll be a tiny little bump on the rubber portions of the chip clip. I'm also going to lower the power of the bump a little bit from its default 100% value. And then I'll right click over the swatch and choose Assign to Selection. For the metal pin, I'll choose a chrome material, Brazil chrome material by default, and I'm not going to change it, so I'll just assign it to the selection. And for the magnet, I'll again start with a Brazil advanced material. And for the color of the magnet, I'll choose a dark gray. And in the reflectivity color swatch, I'll make it pretty reflective, go up to a value around 60. And I'm also going to add a tint to the reflection. I'm going to choose a slight blue color And this will separate it from the dark gray material of the rubber. It'll look different. The last thing I'm going to do to the advanced material that will be the magnetic portion of the model is turn on glossy reflection control. I'm going to lower the percent of the glossiness uh, or raise it actually to 90. And I'm going to lower the sample rate from the default of 10 to 4. The lower the sample rate, uh, the faster this particular material will render. And then I'll apply that to the portion of the model that will be the magnet. And we'll need a ground plane. So from the Brazil drop-down menu, I'll choose Create Plane Primitive, and I'll drag out a plane object. I'm going to take one of the basic materials that are in the material editor when you first open it and use that as the material for the ground plane. And I'll just change its color to a basic neutral gray. Then in the environment tab, I'm going to create a new environment. I'm going to choose Brazil GI environment. The GI stands for global illumination, but even if you don't have global illumination on, you can still use this to hold 
an HDR texture. So in the Eco-Rectangular Texture channel, I'll choose High Dynamic Range Texture, and I'll pick an HDR file to use in this environment. And I'll double click on that to make it the active environment. Now for the settings. I'll start at the top and in the output size section, I'll choose to use the viewport size for the dimensions of the rendering. And then in anti-aliasing, I'll choose the medium quality setting. And in the Luma server, I have the detailed controls displayed. I'm going to turn on the skylight for direct illumination. And I'm going to leave the sample rate for the skylight at five. And in the skylight section, which is available in the detailed controls, I'm going to check this box, use environment settings. And that's going to use the HDR image that I've applied to the GI environment as color for the rendering, as well as reflections and lighting. And then I'll click render and see where we're at. And I'll pause the video while this rendering completes. And here's the render after 46 seconds. I'm pretty happy with it. The shadow quality is a bit grainy and the rubber portion on the back of the model could use some reflectivity, I think. And the magnetic material is uh, looking pretty good with that blue color that's been added. It separates it a little bit from that rubber section on the back of the chip clip. So in the material editor, I'll choose the rubber material and add some reflectivity to it. And in the settings, I'll go back to the Luma server and change the quality of the skylight from a rate of five samples to 10. And then I'll render this again. Just move this first render out of the way. And I'll pause the video again while this completes. And here's the render after two minutes and five seconds. And if you compare it with the original, you can see the rays and skylight quality has cleaned up the shadows and the reflectivity added to the rubber portion at the back of the chip clip uh, now makes that bump more apparent. So we'll close that first render and reorient the model. And let's render another view. I'll pause the video while this completes. And there's another render after two minutes. You can make big changes to both the lighting and reflections on the model just by swapping out the HDR image that you use in the GI environment. You can also turn on global illumination for the skylight, but this will add time to the render. So it really depends on how fast you have to get it done and what type of look you're hoping to achieve. And that's how to set up a product rendering in Brazil for Rhino.